Hey all you inspiring VBA programmers. This is the fifth video in a comprehensive course on programming Microsoft Office with VBA. This part will be about working with multiple Word documents. You will learn how to programmatically choose which document to work with, how to loop over the documents collection, and how to copy data from one document to another. As in previous videos, I am using Bible chapters as example documents. Make sure you have at least two documents open. I will be using Genesis and Exodus. Let's see what the first open document is. Message box documents one dot name. And the second open document. Message box documents two dot name. Now how many documents are open? Message box documents dot count. Here's what happens when you try to open the third document when there are only two documents open message box documents 3.name runtime error 5941 the requested member of the collection does not exist you have been opening documents by index meaning 1 for the first document 2 for the second document and so on vba has two main ways of storing multiple objects collections and arrays word documents are stored as a collection not as an array Collections are one-based, meaning that the first element in the document's collection has an index of one. Let's see each document's details one by one, or as a programmer would say, let's iterate over the document's collection. First, we will use a for loop. You specify a beginning and ending number, and the loop counts from beginning to end. We know there are two documents open, so the beginning index is one, and the end index is two. For i equals 1 to 2, message box documents i dot name. Next, i. But you may not always have two documents to iterate over, so let's replace the hard coded ending index with documents dot count. For i equals 1 to documents dot count, message box documents i dot name. Next, i. Calculating the ending index prevents us from getting the error we previously saw for using an index that is too large for the document's collection. Since we are on the topic of loops using indices, let's look at two other kinds of loops, while and do while. To iterate through the document's collection with a while loop, use this code. i equals 1, while i is less than documents.count plus 1, message box Documents i dot name i equals i plus one w end the while loop runs repeatedly so long as the test expression is true you probably will not use this type of loop as often and I think it is harder to read but it does apply in some situations where the test is not determinate like counting from one to three use this kind of loop with caution because if the test expression doesn't ever change you can have an infinite loop, meaning your code will never stop because it can't get past the loop. Here is another kind of loop, the do while loop. The equivalent of the loops we have been writing is i equals 1 do message box documents i dot name i equals i plus 1 loop while i is less than documents dot count plus 1. Again, you probably won't be using this type of loop as much as the for and for each loops, but it is good in certain situations. This type of loop is good when you know the loop should be executed at least once and maybe more. Finally, the loop that is most appropriate in most situations is the for each loop. It is best because it requires the fewest lines of code and is the easiest to read. For each doc in documents, message box, doc dot name next doc each time through the loop the next document gets a name that you specify notice that you do not have to deal with any indices and you don't have to worry about an index that is too big for the documents collection now let's work with the contents of two documents let's copy the seventh paragraph from exodus to the top of genesis documents genesis dot doc dot paragraphs one dot range dot insert before 
documents exodus.doc.paragraphs7.range.text. Last time the examples were about using single word documents, but this time you started to see how to work with multiple word documents. If you have questions, just keep watching the videos. The point is to show examples first, and then with those examples in mind, I will go over the concepts in later videos. Try to watch these videos with your friends because it will be much easier to learn by collaborating. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.